Chaplain Stendhal, I often tell a lot of our junior chaplains that we're jugglers as a chaplain. We juggle family, we juggle our career, and if they're married, um, if they have significant others. And I say in the military that our family is that crystal ball that we're juggling. We can allow some other balls to drop and they may bounce back, but if we allow our family ball to drop, it shatters. So how, as a chaplain, did you juggle being a husband, a father, and a military minister to all? How did you juggle that to ensure when you retired, your crystal ball of your family was still intact? Oh, beautiful question. I think it changed for me. When I first came on active duty, it was really a different Air Force. It was much larger, more than twice the size of its current authorization. We were largely a base-oriented mm -hmm. instrument. The military instrument of power through the air and space was really based and projected power. Yes. Everything changed, in my view, in 1990 okay. with the first Gulf War. Uh, when we had six months to prepare before the real beginning of at least four months, before the beginning of Desert Storm, the first Gulf War, to move half a million United States uh, military personnel into that CENTCOM theater. Mm. Everything changed, I think, subsequent to the first Gulf War, when the Air Force became a much more expeditionary expression of the military mm. instrument of power. Mm -hmm. It would be mobility, readiness focused. Yes. Deployment became a way of life yes. rather than the exception. Yes. The Air Force sought as best it could to treat airmen and their families with a measure of human dignity and support mm -hmm. so that we would not deploy endlessly but have at least some time to recover. Roman Catholic chaplains, I believe, were deployed at a greater rate, yes. uh, more intensely. Uh, I think the demand signal from the commanders was such that maybe 25% of the, the population of the Air Force was Roman Catholic, but we didn't have as many priests and so they deployed at a greater rate. I think the challenge of family life became greater as the Air Force became more expeditionary. By that time, I had been on active duty for six, eight, ten years as we moved into more frequent deployments to austere areas, times no more than a year away, usually six months. But I think of my Army colleagues, many of whom would be gone 12 months, 18 months at a time, special operators. Uh, the quiet professionals, as we call them, who couldn't always tell their families where they were going. These would be even greater challenges. What helped me was having my family life integrated into the Air Force community. We lived on base. Times when I think more people lived on base, when there were more resources for morale, welfare, recreation, and greater numbers of people and families who lived in community. I had three sons, I was not blessed with daughters, but I have three sons whom I adore and love to this day. Mm -hmm. They found their friendships among persons who also lived on base. Mm -hmm. And mother or father and other families would also be deployed. And they would find community and support in a family network of Air Force that maybe isn't as numerous or vigorous or on base as it used to be. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably more challenging these days. I had momentum before the Air Force became so expeditionary. But that transformation, I think, is, was well managed for us by the support and love of other Air Force families.